Another dry start to the day today, but when I take a look at that first warning live Doppler radar 24 hours ago, this is what the radar looked like this time yesterday. And we started off dry yesterday as well and stayed dry throughout the day. But to our south was this snowstorm all the way from Tennessee, Alabama, east, northeast, through the southern Appalachian Mountains. And we saw into the mid Atlantic states even close to 16, 18 inches of snow measured around midnight yesterday. Stayed dry here though. We just saw a little bit more in the way of the cloud cover south and east of Albany. Thickening across the area because of the system passing to our south and east. Overall, today, though, we will get to see some improving conditions with some more sunshine on the way. Live look in Pittsfield, nine degrees on your CDPHP first warning cam. See the flag moving just a bit there, negative four degrees of that wind chill, and that's what it's feeling like this morning. Overall, though, I do think those winds are going to be lighter as we head throughout the day, generally less than 10, 15 miles per hour. So it won't be feeling as cold as it did yesterday. Here's a look at those temperatures across the area, though, this morning, right around six. Single digits in the southern Adirondacks, the North Country, 5 degrees, Bolton Landing, 7 in Bol uh, Broad Alban, 10 degrees in Saratoga Springs, and 11 degrees in Glenmont. High temperatures will be topping out this afternoon right around 30 degrees. So here's that bus stop forecast for today. Heading out, temperatures will be right around 10, 11, 12 degrees here in Albany to start off the day. They're going to see that sunshine to start as well, but it's going to be very cold as we head throughout the second half of the day. Maybe a few more clouds around, but overall high temperatures in the upper 20s, close to 30 degrees so a sunny but cold day ahead but definitely an improvement uh, as opposed to yesterday when we missed out on a lot of that sunshine but we will have more chances for snow in our near future possibly and Neil Asana will talk more about that coming up in the next hour.